This week, Lexington Council members learned more about the police department's policies and procedures for using license plate reading cameras. As we have reported, the city is joining a pilot program to study the effect of those cameras on crime across the country. Police say several communities in western Kentucky already use the cameras, but they're even more common in parts of Indiana. Tonight, WKYT investigative reporter Garrett Weimer takes us to a suburb of Indianapolis to see how law enforcement agencies are using these cameras there and what it could mean here in Kentucky. As Greenfield grows, this Indiana community along a historic highway is now lined with new technology. Any traffic coming into our county from Indianapolis, we're capturing their vehicle, you know, a picture of their vehicle and our license plate. The sheriff's office here in Hancock County, just to the east of Indianapolis, has been using flock license plate reading cameras since December 2020. I believe it's up to close to a thousand cases now where flock has played some kind of a vital role in solving that case. Um, whether that be give us travel patterns for a suspect or identify a vehicle in some way, shape or form that has helped. Their nearly two dozen cameras are part of a network of roughly 350 they have access to from sharing with other law enforcement agencies in the area. And we are constantly looking for ways to kind of find these force multipliers that help us, you know, solve more crimes, retrieve more information without burdening the taxpayers with, you know, paying for more officers. Um, budgets are tight all over the place and it's harder to find people now. So these flock cameras seem to be a great way to kind of, you know, track suspects and hopefully get more leads without having to have more kind of boots on the ground, so to speak. Investigators here say it's part of their daily workflow now. They've used the cameras for locating burglary suspects, finding missing people, apprehending folks with high level warrants, recovering several stolen vehicles and stolen property, even for tracking a man wanted and now convicted of attempted murder. We always have to have a lookup reason. Or as a test. Um, this is a, a lookup tool we have. I just put it in there. With a few taps and just waiting a few moments. So there's your vehicle. There's the license plate crossing that camera um, just about a mile south of where we are right now. Finding our car from the drive in. And then it, it tells me, um, you know, again, the camera location, which organization owns that camera um, that you passed by. And then that it was a Kentucky SUV. It got that it was a white Toyota um, with a regular license plate. Officials say they can look up a particular plate and even set up alerts for when it shows up. Again, that comes back into um, the investigative work. They can also search for cars in certain areas at certain times that may match suspect vehicle descriptions. Here in Hancock County, Indiana, it didn't take long for officials to realize they wanted more cameras. The sheriff's office went from six initially to 22 right now, and their goal is to have at least 50 cameras. Lexington's current contract is for 25. I'll show you how clear they are at night. I can still tell you um, if it's a, a GMC or a Dodge or a Ford pickup truck. But the technology comes with concerns. Is people's information secure if they are in a public space being documented by the police? There are concerns with how that data is used. There's also concern of the placement because there is proof that communities of color are traditionally over policed. And are these cameras going to be part of that or could they be used in another way? The ACLU of Kentucky says it, along with the NAACP and Human Rights Commission, worked with Lexington police on the department's policies and procedures for the cameras. So we put our first six cameras here. And then in Indiana, the where more communities already are using them, including dozens of local agencies in the Indianapolis area, it's unclear whether the concerns in theory have turned into complaints in practice. The ACLU of Indiana would not share whether it has received any legal complaints or documented any problems about the use of the cameras. But law enforcement officials we talked to say it's been a helpful tool. We've already seen the effect of this. If the, crim the criminals know that we have cameras on the west side of our county, like a big fence. So we've seen them you know, take alternate routes and go through other counties to come in other ways to try to avoid the cameras. That's why their next step is continuing to close that fence. In Hancock County, Indiana, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. And during a work session Tuesday, Lexington's assistant police chief told council members that officers were trained on the cameras earlier this month. The city's cameras are set to be installed next month. Right now, we do not know the exact locations as to where they'll be placed.